what's going on guys um, welcome to Corywood and welcome to the third video on uh, learning Kotlin all right so in the previous videos we said uh, all the information about um, Kotlin and Google and uh, there was a history of this Kotlin why uh, why there is a Kotlin we said there is an island near um, uh, named uh, Kotlin near um, St. Petersburg and all the developers of uh, JetBrain um, which is also the um, owner of this uh, IntelliJ idea lives there that's why it's Kotlin all right so in this video we you guys go ahead and uh, type in your uh, favorite search browser browser mine one is uh, DuckDuckGo and you guys uh, type this IntelliJ idea because we want to get to this uh, page and we want to download this uh, IntelliJ IDEA IDE, which is the official ID of this um, uh, Kotlin. All right, so you guys see this uh, IntelliJ IDEA, uh, and it says JetBrains. That's the company, and that's what we want. And just let you know, guys, know that uh, we're gonna practice with this IntelliJ IDEA, and once you guys got very confident and you guys capable uh, i know you guys are very capable and dedicated programmers but uh, once we get uh, our hands uh, dirty with this um kotlin then we go and jump on uh, android uh, studio and meanwhile if you guys want i can uh, uh, run uh, another series with um, java so you guys see the similarities between the intellij idea and uh, java it's a similar to java it both targets the java jvm all right so i press the download and once you press you see this uh, ultimate uh and it says for web and enterprise development so you guys stay away, uh, away from this one because uh enterprise they give you a little like a little bit uh, of time for free and then they're going to charge you for uh, with money and community and because for our um testing purposes and for our practice uh, community is perfect so you guys just want to get your hands dirty and you guys want to practice so I recommend this uh, community version so we go and uh, press this download it's um, very clever see you guys see this is a um, Windows Mac OS and Linux and the community has got a for JVM and Android development so we press this one and you guys go ahead it says IntelliJ IDEA community edition it's got a support for Java Kotlin Groovy Scala we're gonna run Java as well I think that's the best uh, place to run Java uh, parallel with uh, Kotlin so and I'm gonna show you guys step by step uh, what is uh, Java and what is uh, Kotlin so you guys uh, get the benefit of two in one in one series so you guys at least got a little bit of idea what Java is so we go ahead and press download okay should start shortly if it doesn't please uh, use the direct link okay and there we go our uh, download started when we're gonna save the file and once you guys press the file save file it goes there at the download and once you get to the download you will just press the download and to save time I have already downloaded this uh, IntelliJ idea community and you guys watch here see it says that um, 2 minute 37 seconds left actually I downloaded uh, last year so mine is a bit old 2019 your one's brand new 2020 and congratulations for downloading this uh, IntelliJ idea all right so we wait till uh, this is finished so we go here at the our download and we see download is uh, beginning and it starts uh, running once this is finished you guys double click this and you guys prompt it with the screen that uh, welcome and blah 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 and then um, uh, we see where is the download progressing okay so it's one minute left 
and once you guys once it's done you guys go and check your uh, IntelliJ idea it says, it says part you shouldn't say the part because once it's downloaded it just say exe execution executable file so all right so we go ahead uh, you guys you guys knows and once you guys double click this idea because I have already downloaded I think it's going to download another version well guys I had to pause the video uh, and because that was a bit slow uh, you guys see the screen like that for installer and this was verifying the installation for uh, this IntelliJ idea all right so once it's uh, you guys see this um, download uh, page it's gonna come in and you guys see this uh, screen like this and we go ahead and press this uh, new project all right you so you guys see that's a java java fx android uh, uh, Mawen, Gradle, um, we leave it for the next videos. I'm going to explain why one by one what's this and say Kotlin and it said JVM idea. So it used to be Kotlin uh, JVM but now they changed it to JVM idea. It's the same thing. So you guys go and uh, press next and it's asking what's your um, project so you guys can create my uh, first pro or my first project my first project my first project if you guys done a C, C++ and others you see the same screen is coming that um, you guys what do you guys want to do all right so we go ahead you see this is a download uh, community edition and you guys press next all right guys uh, as you can see that I had this uh, old um, uh, IDE uh, IntelliJ idea and it's cancelling the old one uh, okay, the cache is setting delete India community 2019. Okay, so it wants to uninstall this one and reinstall another one. So I'll go ahead and turn off this one. All right, guys, uh, as you can see, I'm uh, uninstalling the old version of uh, IntelliJ IDEA. With mine, one was a uh, couple of years old. And I'm uh, reinstalling the new one, which is 2021. That's a new version. So we'll see when this is finished. Now with uh, our new Kotlin uh, that uh, we have installed. So as you guys know that uh, in the last, uh, uh, in the first part of this video, we created this, um, uh, my first project in the old uh, Kotlin. So uh, now we are running the new ones. So now we created, our, uh, as you guys know that uh, we have created our my first project. And you guys, I'll go through quickly with the layout of this um, IntelliJ ID, idea, uh, IDE. So as you guys here see, this, this is my first app. It means we are running uh, my first app. If you guys got have a multiple projects file number, file here is gonna show here. So the uh, IntelliJ idea is very clever. It's gonna ask you which one you guys wanna run. So because at the moment we've got my first uh, app, um, dot kt dot kt is a kotlin extension for kotlin so and if you guys press this one it's going to run your project and we haven't got anything uh here and how i created this uh, this file so as you guys know that uh, uh you guys see this your project here if you cl press here and it's gonna hide your project and it says internal libraries it's if you guys go in the uh, internet uh, yeah, sorry in uh, Android studio it's gonna be like uh, Gradle uh, that's external libraries but you're gonna see Gradle here so um, external libraries that this 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 bit here it says 9 this means, it means this is pointing to your uh, Java JDK so 
uh, if you guys see if, if you remember from the first few videos how we installed our uh, JDK C program files Java JDK 16.01 so this uh, this file here is gonna point it here if you guys don't see this one here and it's gonna give you error and it's gonna say that around here that uh, uh, you they can't find your Java and make sure you reconfigure it and make sure it finds your Java but um, IntelliJ idea is very clever it's gonna find your Java with no problem uh, and uh, this Kotlin's uh, Java if you guys run the view program and encounter some sort of exception problem or any other problem make sure you install the plugins and because it's gonna give you the error and the solution the plugins and you, when you guys install this one it's gonna come uh, Kotlin Java runtime so it's gonna uh, give you the JDK 7 the jar of the <coughs> Java as we said that Kotlin targets the Java JVM uh, Java virtual machine and runs parallel with Java so one thing you guys uh, rest assured that it's, uh, it's compatible with Java and uh, Kotlin Java go hand in hand so uh, when you guys write Kotlin you can convert to Java and when you guys write Java you can convert it back to Kotlin no problem I'm going to show you in the future videos uh, and in this video if I was thinking to create another project uh, which runs parallel to this one because this one we can create a Java project as well so how I created this uh, my first uh, app if you guys go ahead and um, your files and you go on um, new see here it says project it's gonna create a new project and if you guys come here down the files it creates a file for you the HTML file Kotlin and uh, other uh, other files so if you guys go here on the source and you right click at the source and it's ask you Java class which one you guys want to create Java client Kotlin class you guys create a file what you want what you want so if you guys you guys can create your, your uh, Java class or Kotlin class with no problem you guys can create your file as well so we create our uh, uh, first app and you guys come here and it says out production my first meta and my first uh, app kt dot uh, uh, class so that's how the by default uh, Kotlin creates the class at the background all right so with your first project uh, created so you guys can even can uh, right click on your uh, uh, here and when you go on the file it gives you what's the file name so uh, if you go right click again and it's Kotlin script what do you want to do so that's how we create this Kotlin all right so we go down your uh, first line so we create a, a fun main if you guys done um, uh, C C++ is equal to int main so it's very similar like we see in uh, C++ we do int main that's exactly like fun main like function main so uh, why there is a function main function name the reason uh, Kotlin gives you function main because uh, when you guys created this one uh, there is no such file or something it's like a heart of the program when the you take this uh, like our heart so the, the heart is the first uh, uh, organ that creates so that's how we say fun 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 main it means that's the first uh, programs all right so you guys uh, we go ahead with this one and you guys see that like uh, uh arcs here and column and it says array and here is type string but you guys see all the um, kotlin files like this but at the moment we don't go on this ones we're gonna go and uh, uh, explain this one in the future video so you guys don't have to worry about that for now so you guys say print ln similar to Java welcome to Kotlin first first app all right normally you guys put a hello world but um, we just put a welcome to Kotlin first app 
All right. So if you press uh, save, control S to save, and we go ahead here, or you guys can go ahead here on the run, and it says first run my uh, uh, first app, or uh, you guys can choose your application, or you guys come here, Alt Shift F10, we can do as well, Alt Shift F10 if you guys remember, press it together, all right, so I'll put a, all shift f10 and it's going to ask me that you're going to which one you're going to do they are going to say my first uh, fkt which is this one all right so as you guys see that this is running uh, because it's building the the file if you come here at the there is a hammer sign there's a terminal problems terminal and if you guys want to go and build and if you see that this is your um, first uh, app is uh, this starts building behind the back and if you guys are running ant ant is a java compiler so just let you know it's like a c compiler g plus plus or uh, any other c compiler so this is exactly uh, ant is uh, builds the, your program for you all right so we wait and as you guys see that the Kotlin, uh, Kotlin JVM, uh, Kotlin C JVM, Java Virtual Machine 150 release 7 uh, JRE 16.01, that's the one we installed, all right? All right, you guys see that the, our uh, first program run with uh, no problem, with the exit code zero. If you guys see one, it means it's got a problem, but this one, have a no problem this is the C program file Java JDK that's a binary Java exe that's what the files it requires to execute uh, and there is another one Java which that goes to JDK I Java uh, IntelliJ idea community edition which we downloaded and that's the file there so there is the two file which works at the background to create your first app so Congratulations, you guys. You guys build your first uh, uh, Kotlin uh, application. All right, so we've got a print LN. So what about if I put a print, just a print. I'll sh show you guys. This is my print. Statement in Kotlin. All right, so as you guys know that there is, uh, we don't put a semicolon around here as with uh, with uh, C and C++, uh, with the PHP, any other language you guys put a, use a semicolon to end your um, line, but with, with Kotlin, uh, we don't do that. And, but there is exception to that, and I'll explain to you guys on the future videos. So we go, uh, control shift F10 again and our program is going to start so IntelliJ idea is very clever the first time it asked me the second time it's not asking me again so and it starts building straight away so you guys seen that um, uh, the print and print LN works the same so welcome to the first Kotlin uh, app and this is my print statement in uh, Kotlin, which is this line. So, ta-da! There is a, uh, just I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys that there there is a you guys can uh, output your um, statement with a print ln, which is a Java type, and print, which is C style. So you guys can create both. That's how we do our um, we create our. Uh, uh, line so we guys put a fun main and if you see inside arguments and array of string type string uh, don't worry about that once we get to the arrays and strings and then I'm gonna uh, explain why there is an argument here with the uh, colon and uh, array of type string so it's a template 
uh, so because I don't want to confuse you guys you guys just type here and this is your first uh, Kotlin uh, printed uh, uh, application so uh, I just mentioned uh, before I finish the video this is the Android studios got the same layout but if you guys not familiar with Java I'm going to create another uh, playlist uh, similar to this one and I'm going to create that uh, uh, my first uh, Java project so we're gonna uh, run Java parallel to this one so we see the similarities between Kotlin and Java in the IntelliJ idea all right thanks for watching uh, if you guys got any question or comment uh, just leave it below otherwise I'll see you guys in the next video in uh, next video we're gonna explain the variables inside the Kotlin what is variables I'll see you guys in the next video and bye